What's up, Andrew? It's Peter Von Panda here. Hey, just bought these Kanan Bluetooth wireless headset and uh, got it on Amazon. Massive wireless sound with mic, so you can presumably use these to take a phone call. Adjustable. These are black. It looks like kind of over the ear. Comes with a USB cable and all this jazz. Just want to show it to you and quick give you my thoughts on sound quality, which is never going to be the easiest thing. Uh, bought them because they looked kind of cool. I kind of dig this orange thing. I mean, that's the, <laughs> I saw them on Amazon. I was like, oh man, those kind of look cool. And the probably the most important thing about it is I showed you another pair of headphones that I just bought, JS Bass headphones. I think these are maybe actually by the same company. So I really like them. I can see a lot of carryover in similarity. But the big thing for me was right there, micro USB. So the other ones I showed you, which are a fine set of headphones and I've used those, are mini USB. But who has a mini USB cord? It's like one separate cord that you're carrying for kind of an antiquated port. And this one has micro USB, which everyone has. Obviously, if it had a lightning connector too, that'd be fantastic. That'd be fantastic. Um, looks like a three, three and a half millimeter uh, jack right there. I think that holds there for the microphone. This looks like an LED to tell you whether it's on or off. You have a negative button there and a positive there. I'm assuming those are for volume, but they may be for forward uh, and backwards because sometimes those are confuse me. You have a button right here, which looks like it's answering phone or hang up, which may also be play pause. You have these really soft orange cushions right there. I really like it and kind of an even orange mesh, um, the orange fabric over the speaker grill right there. You can see it right there, wireless stereo dynamic headphones, BTO2. And then they're hinged right here. And they snap into place, a little detent, so I can kind of fold them up so you can carry them like this. Soft, you know, soft touch black plastic over here. And then you have that orange rubberized material right up here so you have a little bit of padding should be kind of comfortable to put it put it on your head but i thought they looked good i thought they looked good and the micro usb port sold me so let's also take a quick look what else is in the box here you have holy crap a really long three and a half millimeter cord you can see here it is wrapped with like a nylon uh, nylon case and then you also have a control button right here and i'm assuming that's just answer and end with a little microphone. So take your calls on that as well. You also have, yes, yes, the micro USB cable right there to charge it up, which is exactly what I was hoping for. And then you get your uh, instructions and manuals and all that jazz. So now the next thing we have to do is get this thing connected to my phone and listen to a little music and I can tell you how it sounds. Well, or maybe I should just finish up the tour. I have these little chrome accents right here at the top of the headphone earphone piece but they're not like polished it's kind of like a you know like a pea blasted type of plastic I, I feel like it's just kind of mold, regular mold of plastic spray painted silver and then you can see here that the headphone is kind of mounted inside this ring that just holds it in place because if I move the headphone you get the whole uh, piece moving there very much like the Beats by Dre headphones so um, let me just throw them on yeah, comfy. Holy smokes. The little pads that go around my ears. I can't even I can barely hear myself talking now, so they definitely <laughs> they definitely seal around my ear now. Um, my ear is definitely all the way to the top and the bottom of these pads, so they're not like the giant over the ear muffs, but it uh, seems like it should work. Let's get these bad boys paired and try it out left and right. Okay, so to get it into pairing mode, Apparently I have to hold down after it's turned on this play pause button, which is the phone button for five seconds to get it into pairing mode. All right. So you hold down that phone button for five seconds. It turns on, flashes blue, and then flashes red. Now it looks like it is paired. So let's go ahead and listen to something and see how it sounds. Okay, in terms of function, this phone button is also the play pause. So if I hit it again here, we're going to pause the song. If I hit it again, it's going to play. The up and down are both volume and forward and back. So if I hold the up and down bo button 
it'll move the volume. So if I hold the up button, it's gonna increase the volume. And if I hold the down button, it's gonna decrease the volume. If I, I, if I just tap them, they're going to end up skipping forward or back. So if I hit the back button here, it's gonna go, go back to the beginning of the song. And likewise, if I hit the front, it's gonna to skip to the next song. So you have all your controls. And what I've kind of noticed is that since this is the right side, it's kind of nice if you're left-handed, it's gonna be really comfortable. But even though I'm right-handed, when you reach up and put this, uh, grab the headset on the your left side here, it's really easy to get your thumb, you know, these buttons are really in the, uh, the right position to play pause or advance or change the volume. So it's kind of kind of clever that they put these on the back here where your thumb is naturally gonna be. So I'm actually pretty impressed with that. Overall, the, the music quality is pretty good and I'm shocked at how well these kind of padded earphones block out the rest of the sound so you can hear a lot of minute detail in the music. I actually love the way they look. Uh, so far, you know, they, they, they sound well, they sound good. They seem to be pretty nice construction. And I love the fact that this is charged by micro USB. So there it is. Uh, my new pair of headset from Kanan BT-02. Actually, maybe manufactured by the JS Space company, but I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to pick these up. They're not that expensive. Certainly a lot cheaper than some of the big name brand headphones out there. Peter Von Panda, out.